Hello and welcome to Karma Chameleon Makeup for Mental Health. This is a series where usually I would go live every Saturday 3pm UK time. However, due to visiting family, today it's going to be a premiere. I will be in the live chat um, chatting away with you all. So yeah, a little bit different to the norm. So guys, I'm going to just start out by priming my eyes. I am going to be using Okay, the Odensein Angelica Nique Fist Hella Palette. Um, super excited to be trying that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna crack on, pop on some ABH eye primer. So guys, how has your week been? Um, mine's been a bit on the not so great side. <laughs> I've had a really bad pain flare up. Um, but also I was put on a new uh, medication to see if it would work because the gabapentin was doing absolutely nothing and so I tried pregabalin and oh my word um, I was hallucinating I felt nauseous I couldn't think straight I had no balance um, it was it was bad it didn't do anything to help with the pain it just made me less able to deal with the pain um which yeah wasn't much fun so i am now awaiting another doctor's appointment on tuesday to see where we go from here because uh, there was no way no way i was going to continue with that um i don't mind like with my last medication i got side effects for the first week or two but nothing nothing like that um and yeah it was quite scary so yeah <laughs> and other than that i've had a few days where well a couple of nights i couldn't even get up the stairs to go to bed so i slept on the the sofa but yeah <sighs> God, you've got to love it when you, your body kind of gives up on you a bit. <laughs> um, but anyway, enough woe is me. Um, the reason that today's video is a premiere and not a live is because as you are watching this and as we're chatting in the live chat, I will be on the Isle of Wight seeing family. Um, we are taking Jace over, so... Um, family get to meet Jace, but also my sister has two dogs. Um, she's got a French bulldog and a um, golden Labrador. Um, they are gorgeous dogs, and I'm so hoping that they get on well with Jace. Um, and then Dave's parents have got three Bichon Frises. I don't know what they're going to make of Jace because uh, yeah, he's grown and you have to excuse, this was overtired Jace and yeah, overtired puppies are not, not much fun. So let me have a look. So this is the outer sleeve and I love that it's in, well I say black and white, there's like gold and green in it, it's absolutely gorgeous. I will most definitely not be getting rid of the sleeve. I will however pop it aside and the actual palette is in colour. How beautiful is that? Um, so it's kind of the life and death and I believe these are the two siblings of Hella. I did watch Angelica's video introducing this um, so I'm super excited to try it. Oh it's got the names of them on the back as well. So it's just the whole packaging is beautiful absolutely beautiful um what does it say there and then the color story i mean of course i was gonna love it look at those greens so yes i will most definitely be let me take that slip out i do not need that um i most definitely will be going with green today because yeah because i want to I'm thinking though, do I want to, I don't know, 
All right, let's make sure this is patted down. I've been super excited waiting for this to arrive. So where shall we start? Let's start on the very, very inner part. So I think hmm, I'm going to start with Rebirth, the pastel yellow. And from what I saw on Angelica's video, it looks like it is going to show up nicely, yeah. Ooh, she pretty, very pretty. And I know that um, Angelica likes um, all matte looks as well. And I believe this was put in because this is, this would be a really nice kind of matte inner corner shade. Look at that. That is stunning. Loving it. Absolutely loving that. So yeah, how many of you picked this up too? It is just... I'm such a huge fan of Odin's Eye and I love that they have collabed with some just amazing creators I mean Annette and Angelica are two that I have been watching for a long time that I love um, I have Annette's um, collab with Odin's Eye and also her collab with Menagerie and I have Angelica Neekvist's Club Nebula palette also um, I do like to support um, the creators that I watch. So yes, this is absolutely gorgeous. I am, I am loving, I'm loving this, loving it. This is a really decent pastel shade. I've purposely not watched much, um, not watched many videos on this palette because I like to I like to make up my own mind what I think of the formula etc obviously I I love Odin's Eyes formula so I wasn't too worried but oh, just look at that how beautiful is that and bright pigmented Ooh. and now let's in another brush and then I am going to next go into Underworld kind of like a, a mustardy greeny shade it looks gorgeous so I am um, is there enough of a difference on the eyes I think there is yes that was my only concern putting these next to each other there wouldn't be enough of a difference to have them directly next to each other but that's yeah they are definitely different enough and this color story is gorgeous i will more than likely have a swatch of the shimmers before deciding uh, what to go in with oh, this is pretty this is pretty pretty I am not mad at that at all alright so I'm just going to make sure I've got that really kind of packed in the crease bit Yeah, this is absolutely gorgeous. Hmm. I'm loving how this is looking. So, what do I want to go in with next? Do I want to use Moss? Yeah, I think I do. So, I am next going to go into Moss. I want to try and use quite a few of the shades just to... Uh, 
get a bit more of a feel of the colour story. Ooh, okay, this looks like it's going to be nicer on the eyes. How much of a difference is there? Yeah, so this is definitely on the more green side. So yeah, what, what do you guys think of this colour story? I think it's uh, it's a nice unique colour story. I love the different shades that have been put together and also the tones. I think it's very well thought out, but then I didn't expect anything less from Angelica. She's uh, She has an eye for colour combinations, so I was pretty confident that I was going to love that. This is really nice. I'm loving the, the gradient this is giving. Um, excuse if you can hear a ton of noise. They're still knocking with the big building down opposite, but I also seem to have a group of teenage boys hanging out outside my house. As you do. So are there any new releases any of you guys are excited about? I'm still a bit out of the loop, so I'm not really, obviously I'm uh, looking forward to Lois Cosmetics' new palette, um, which, as I'm filming this, is being released tonight. What's going on there? We've got creasing in the eye primer. I'm loving these shades. This is my kind of colour story. She did such a great job with her collab with uh, with Kaleidos also. Um, that is one of, just one of my favourite palettes. And this one, this one may be joining that because so far so far I'm loving it. Okay, we've actually got the sun out today. Which is nice to see. Um, I haven't had much of that. Hopefully tomorrow for me and was it today for you guys, hopefully the weather's alright because I want to be able to introduce Jace to the beach. That would be fun because he's never been on a beach. Uh, right now, I think now let's go in and deepen up. So I'm going to go in with is it Ouroboros? The deep green. Super excited. Oh. I had to, I just had to try it. I couldn't wait to do a whole video on it because um, this coming couple of weeks is going to be even harder to film um, because Kira is going to be staying on the island with family um, for a break so uh, oh, this is so pretty so yeah she won't be around to help me out with my little monkey. <laughs> so yes, Jace hasn't quite learnt to uh, behave himself uh, yet. Well, he's still a baby, just a very, very big baby. And I would have shown you guys the size of him, but he literally did not sleep all morning. And he is downstairs asleep now, so I am not disturbing him because he has been a little terror this morning. So overtired, you know, with kids when they get overtired and can't think straight and they don't hear what you're, what you're saying. Well, that has been Jace today so far. And uh, yeah, 
<laughs> roll on when all the adult teeth are through and puppy tantrums stop. The, to be fair, I mean, for a pup, he's so well behaved. He's just, he is a pup. I'm going to give the, the Fenty Hydrating Foundation, I'm going to give it another go. With a different primer and see. All I know is I really didn't like it. So I'm hoping... Because so many people keep saying to me it's like one of their favourites. And from what I've seen of it, well, on me <laughs> so far, I was really kind of disappointed. So we'll just have to wait and see. Because today I'm not going to be going anywhere. So it doesn't matter if it looks terrible there's kind of a great time to trial it i think plus i really wanted to trial it again if i was going to like on camera so that you guys could see how it performed i can hear kira sneezing downstairs oh i am loving how this is looking I'm just going to go back into Moss, the shade that I have on the outer part around the edge. I'm just going to kind of blend them together a bit better. Oh, this is so pretty. And there's a fair bit of kick up, but I don't mind that at all. And then back into what are you called? Underworld. <laughs> the more mustardy shade. No, just going back through them really. Just want to make sure that they're intensified and you can see all of the the shades doing their thing. Oh, this is so nice so nice i'm so happy that i did get this so happy it is so beautiful it's really kind of building it up And then blending it out and into the other shades. Oh, so pretty. And then back in to Rebirth, which is the pastel. And just making sure to blend the edges out and pack it on. Oh. Yeah, I'm in love with this so far. And quirky, even if it's just for these shades, I'm in love with it. Beautiful. Ooh. That, that is looking good. So, right, let's have a look at these shimmers. So, Fluorescence, Golden Bridge, and Venom. Let's go for these three first. So I just want to have it all. Oh. 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 Okay. Oh. Right. I just want to have a quick look at the other ones as well, just to get an idea of what they're going to look like. So that one is oh crikey, Hellfire and then double sided. So 
this is double sided and then this is river oh okay and then finally complete is it complete yep complete so let's have a look oh okay 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 So pretty, so pretty. Hmm. Oh, they're even more beautiful than I thought they were going to be. Uh, well, while I make my mind up, I am going to chuck on. Where is it? While I make my mind up, I'm going to chuck on a bit of NYX glitter primer and have a think because wow. They have some awesome shades and I'd really like to do something a little bit different a little bit not the not the huge I'm just going to take a tiny bit of that Ouroboros and just go to the edge there. Right. Okay. Hmm. I think I'm going to start towards the outside that's what I'm going to do so towards the outside I'm going to go in with complete so I'm just taking a bit of that and I'm literally just going to tap that right into the outer outer part here that is so pretty so pretty so there's like the depth bit in shimmer my days are brighter my shoulders are so much lighter just for a moment there i thought that there was nothing more to life i thought about it wrote a couple songs about it Ooh, okay i'm liking that and now i think going to yeah yeah I am. I am then let's get a more floofy one you. I am then going to go in with gonna go in with river is going to go across the center of oh my word look at that oh okay this is beautiful okay I am packing my brush, so there is going to be fallout, but that's absolutely fine. I don't mind that. That's why I didn't do my base first. This shade is just magical. You see the green shift and the, the kind of purple shift. Oh my God. I'd say this is more of a multi-chrome looking at it because I can see kind of teal purple more of a bright green this is beautiful wow oh wow oh, now what do i want to do for the inner part do you know what i think 
Hmm. I think I am going to go with that one, actually. I'm going to go in with Hellfire. I think this is going to look amazing. Oh, yes. Um, I am finding that they pick up better, but then I find that with the Odin's Eye shimmers anyway, with the slightly flat but fluffier brushes. Look at that. That is... Oh, look how well these shades go together. Just so beautiful. Like I said, very well thought out colour story. Very well thought out colour story. Oh, I'm loving this. I am loving this. I didn't want to do what a lot of people, you know, go for the obvious colour combinations. Um, more because I, I like to experiment anyway. So eyeshadow especially is like my creative outlet. It's it makes me happy, it makes me feel good about myself. I'm I'm loving this. So I'm just gonna go back in with the brush with Ouroboros on the deep green matte. I'm just going to nothing else on my brush. I've not added any more product. I'm just giving that a dab there. I might actually add just just a little bit more right just to this very outer part here and then tap it in. Perfect. And then tap into these shimmers. Oh my god, I cannot. That is so beautiful. So beautiful. So the primer I'm using is new to me. Um, it's the MUA Makeup Academy Pro Base Soothe and Cool Primer Stick. Um, I've had it sat in my box of shame for a good while. Um, I don't know what you are meant to do. But it feels nice so far. It feels very really refreshing. Oh, and it is creating a, a tack. It feels hydrating, but at the same time, hmm. Okay. Okay, well, so far I'm quite digging that. So, we are giving the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation another go. I have it in the shade 120. So, let's see what happens. Uh, da, 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 foundation brush. Let's have a see if it looks any better. I do love the smell of it. it. Smells the same as the powder. Alright, how is this looking? Okay, I'm not looking hydrating. I see I'm not getting that from this. But we will see. We're just going to go with it and see what happens. <laughs> there, the smell is amazing. It just smells so uh, kind of luxury. I don't know how else to, to describe it. No, I'm not sure that this is hydrating at all. It's 
actually looking quite dry. I'm, I'm not sure at all what I think of this. I've had so many people raving about it. I don't, I don't get it. what is going wrong. Why does it not love me? <laughs> if it looks any better when everything else is on maybe it will I hope so because uh, I'm so desperate to love it especially where other people have been saying to me that it is so good hmm okay jury's still out on that at the moment hmm So full concealer, facial concealer, I'm going to go in with the Natasha Denona Transfix Matte Concealer. I have it in the shade 4N Neutral. And let's conceal some stuff. Yeah, I wanted to use this concealer because the colour match is, is really good. Yeah, hmm. I am not sold. <laughs> this concealer is quite a matte one, which I don't mind. It's strange how your preferences change because full coverage, matte, cake face was really my thing for the longest time. And now I quite like my skin to look, look like skin, which at the moment it does not. It's making my skin look really textured, look really textured. Um, for under my eyes, I'm going to go in with the She Glam um, this concealer. Um, I have it in the shade Vanilla, um, just to kind of brighten up under my eyes there. It's that Natasha Denona one, you can't put that under your eyes, it is just too matte. It's more than likely to be alright for uh, very young eyes. But I don't have those, so am I not aging? <laughs> I do love this concealer for under eyes. I'm going to cream contour with the Fenty Beauty um, Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Bronzer in Butter Biscuit, which is here, this one. <laughs> I love the formula of this. I don't know if this is going to be too warm actually for this look. Mm. What do I think? One moment there I lost myself. Mind if I be real for a minute. It's almost like everything I feel had a limit. It now gone past finding reasons. I think this this base is really throwing me off. Yeah. No, oh, I really don't like this foundation on me. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see, but my skin just looks so textured. 
I'm going to go in with the Made by Mitchell Blush Cream Blush in Melon Sorbet. Um, I think this is going to be... I think I've used this the last couple of times I've done my face, actually. I do really, really like this. I'm going to use my Made by Mitchell Blush Brush thing. They're so pigmented. Crikey. I think I might have gone a bit overboard with this. I will soften it up. <laughs> All right. and then just going over it with the foundation brush just to blend it all in So for powder, I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty, the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder in the shade Butter because I love this and I'm hoping it's going to make this base look better. I'm going to take some under my eyes. Blur it all out. That's looking a bit better already. Yeah, I'm not sold on this foundation at all, guys. Not at all. Hmm. That's sold. And then just going to take a big fluffy brush and just take that over the rest of my face. This powder is so nice. Okay. Well, it's definitely looking better than it was. I'm going to... Um, a friend of mine sent me the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray to try because apparently I'm missing out. So I'm just going to... sure what that smells of but it's not unpleasant but it's not pleasant either hmm okay so before I go in to finish my eyes I'm going to dip into the makeup revolution and imagination highlight to the moon it's also got contour shades in there so I'm going to be using um, more than likely the lighter two, but maybe the deeper one as well. We shall see. Right, let's go in. I'm going to go in with Warrior, the one in the middle first. Is that going to be deep enough? Actually, no. I'm going to go in with Can't Deal. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay, so the deepest one is more, more my shade. So I think I'm going to start out with Soot. This, I don't, it's like an aubergine brown, I think. I'm quite sure. But I'm going to take that just on the outer the outer part of my lower lash line there just so that I can try just some extra extra shades oh I'm going to dip into um double-sided 
and I am going to give that a spray just so that I don't get the fallout and I'm going to pack that all okay well, that's not what I was expecting It shows up very peachy uh, next to these shades. Okay, I'm liking that. I wonder what that will look like. I haven't sprayed it to go up under there. But yeah, I think that's that looks nice. Okay, I'm liking that. And four. For my inner corner, I'm going to use fluorescence. I think that is going to look beautiful. Just dip in there. I'm going to give that a spray also. And oh, yes. Oh, look at that. Oh. Okay, that is absolutely stunning. I've been so excited to to try these out because oh, just look at that. It really does look fluorescent. Yeah, I might just be a little bit in love with this palette. It's definitely more to it than when you initially look at it. It's got, there's a lot more versatility to this than looks just by looking at the palette, if that makes sense. Okay, I'm living for this absolutely living for it so i'm going to take going to go in with uh underworld and i'm just going to take that just a little bit kind of under my eye just to blend out blend out the deeper shade and kind of tie it all in a bit better. Ooh. Look at that. Yeah. This is looking good. Ooh. And then just with the same brush, I'm gonna dip just the tiniest bit into search which is that deep shade there just to kind of blend it into underworld i'm i'm loving this God. seriously guys this palette is absolutely gorgeous Okay, so for blush, I'm going to go in with the Milani Baked Powder Blush in the shade Luminoso. I'm still giving this a go. I think now I know how subtle it is and that I need to go in a lot more initially. I'm enjoying this a lot more. 
I was very late to the game with this. I've heard people talking about it for such a long time. Um, I knew I'd get there eventually. There were just other things I really wanted to try first. But, ooh. Yeah. That's pretty. Pretty, pretty. And then for highlighter, I'm going in with this one here from Pout and Shout. This is one of the Happy Glow Lucky highlighters in the shade Sunny Days. Um, I love this. Love it. This is such a beautiful yellow highlighter. And it is going to look perfect. Yeah, look at that. Perfect with this look. I do have some more um, bits from Pout and Shell I do really need to try out because I have um, an eyeshadow palette called Nine Lives and it looks beautiful. I've just been struggling to find the time to film. Let's add some extra glow today. I'm really feeling that my skin needs it <laughs> after that very not so not so nice looking foundation. <sighs> looking good. I love this. Let me just go over with the blusher brush. Okay. I'm loving the look of this. I'm going to nip off to finish my eyes and find a lipstick. So I will be back in just a moment. Stay where you are. Okay, guys. So I'm back with a finished look. Let me know what you think either in the live chat if, uh, if you're here for the premiere or in the comment section below. I'm pretty happy with how this has come out. I will let you know a few of the other bits I popped on my face. So the mascara I went in with is the Fenty Beauty, what are you called, full frontal mascara. Um, the eyeliner is from Yvette Beauty, it is the Lash Adhesive Eyeliner. And then in my waterline, oh, sorry, over the inner part, of the black liner. I went in with the Kyma Cosmetics liquid multi cream shadow in the shade Venom and then in my waterline I have got the She Glam Chromazone multi cream gel liner Um, this one is in the shade Subliminal. These are amazing. I have all three and they're so good. So so good. The lashes are from Artitude Cosmetics. They are the Russian Volume Luxury Lashes. Um, I have the style Envy on. They're so curly. I love these. Um, where are we at? I think, is it just lips now? Um, my lips are a mixture of two of the moisture liquid lipsticks from V Cosmetics. Um, the deeper one is Spaceman. And the lighter one, I cannot remember what it's called. Um, it's gone. I'll have a look and see if I can find that and pop it in the description box below. Um, yeah, it's just a mixture of those two. Kind of went around the edges um, afterwards, dabbing with Spaceman. And then mostly in the centre, it is this one. So I am super happy with how this has come out. Let me know what you think. I I was in the mood for some green and oh my word. This this beauty. Oh, I am so in love with this palette. So in love. And the shades, I mean it doesn't look as vert versatile as it is. Beautiful. I cannot wait to play with this some more. I'm in love. So yeah guys, if you are here in the live chat, we've been chatting away, thank you so much for coming and joining me today. 
next week we will be back to the normal live for Karma Chameleon um, but yeah I hope you've enjoyed this if you have please give it a like if you're watching at a later time or date thank you so much for watching I appreciate every single one of you and yeah if you're new here um, as you can probably tell I'm a huge lover of very colourful makeup I love to support indie brands I only use cruelty free products I think that's about it um, over here we like to have fun on my channel and Saturdays are just a chill do makeup, chat makeup, chat life, whatever it is everyone in the live chat I have the best subscribers I say subscribers, friends. You guys are my friends. I have the best. I am most definitely biased, but I still think I have the best. I love you all to bits. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.